I was wrong when I concluded that the Terascale 2 GPUs are no longer suitable for the regular PC user. And to be honest, I'm quite happy to have to hit my own words. You see, I ran into trouble when attempting to play games in full screen mode using the HD 5870 about 4 months ago. Games would not render properly, requiring the player to switch to windowed or borderless mode, or plainly crash. There is also a performance penalty associated when not running in full screen mode, and we'll get back to that later in the video. Things were the same when I revisited the HD 5770 just a few weeks ago. I found the crashes to the desktop that I experienced with Rocket League to be particularly infuriating, since they prevented me from using the match replay that I typically benchmark video cards with. However, as I swapped out the 5770 for the 6850 for an upcoming revisit of the card, I found something very surprising when attempting to launch Alien Isolation. Instead of the crash to the desktop that I expected, the game booted just fine, and it even played just fine. I quickly went to confirm this behavior with GTA 5 and Battlefield 5, and they had no problem running the game full screen. Valorant and Fortnite, full screen. Rocket League, full screen, the menu works fine and I could even use my saved replay. It appears that something has changed in these few weeks. I expected I could replicate the results also on the HD 5770, but there was really only one way to find out. With the Juniper GPU based card slotted in, I could quickly verify that all the games that had to be run either windowed or borderless mode could now be played in full screen. I also happened to gather FPS statistics for the full screen runs, so we can actually quantify the performance delta between running full screen and running borderless. First off is GTA 5 at 1080 and low settings. Full screen mode adds 3 more FPS, raising the average to 49 and 1% lows to 31. Rainbow Six Siege at 720 resolution and 100% render scale now averaged 40 FPS, compared to the 23 FPS we got in borderless. 1% lows also increased to 24 FPS, that is 9 more than before. Finally, Alien Isolation ran. That means 40 FPS on average, which is 40 more than the re-review from 2023. Comparing the values to the 2022 ones though, the performance is basically the same. As a result, I am now more than happy to recommend Terrascale 2 cards to anyone looking for very cheap GPUs that can play some of the most popular titles today. If you haven't viewed the 2023 review of the HD 5770, then everything that I mentioned in this video probably made little sense. My suggestion is that you click on the video link on your screen. It should clear things up a bit. This is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.